to humble themselves. We wasn't arrogant or whatever. We just, we're confident people. If our confidence offends your insecurity, that's the problem with you, it's not us. <laughs> What's happening, 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 what's happening. Welcome to the Chosen Not Taken show. I am your host, Real Roy, a.k.a. Chosen Not Taken. Choose your life. Don't just take what it gives you. And you know I need you to do me a family favor. Like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the vibe. You know we on our way to one million. So help us out. You know what it is and what it ain't. But look, we're going to get it all the way out the way. Colorado got the brakes beat off them by Oregon. 42-6. to six. It was a horrible game for Colorado but it was a learning experience. I'm gonna show a couple of videos and a couple of clips here about the pre and the post game from Deion Sanders and from the coach from Oregon uh, and let you see how hype uh, Oregon's coach got his team and how Deion dealt with defeat, even though, you know, some shots thrown out there. Let's roll the clip. The Cinderella story is over, man. Right? They're fighting for clicks, we're fighting for wins. There's a difference, right? There's a difference. Right? This game ain't gonna be played in Hollywood, it's gonna be played on the grass. We step out there, we expect to practice to perfection and go out there and uh, execute the things that we practice. We just didn't do it today. I don't say stuff just to say it for a click, you know, contrary to what some may say. But, uh, I, yeah, I keep receipts. Uh, but I'm serious, I analyze and I understand what we're up against and what we have and what we need. One thing that I can say honestly and candidly, you better get me right now. This is the worst we're going to be. You better get me right now. It's so good. Now, as you can see, as you can see, uh, even Dion acknowledged the fact that people get up uh, to beat him. Uh, he even made a comment uh, in some parts of his, his, his uh, post-game interview uh, when he said that if he was playing, he, they'll dominate because, you know, the teams want to play against him. They want to beat him. And he got a gold jacket that he didn't have to pay for. Let me explain something to you. And I want somebody to learn from this. You know, this is not a sports channel. This is a life channel. I want people to learn things from different situations in life. Let me explain something to you. This is what comes along with your name being great. Yeah, this is, this is what comes along with your name being great. So when people talk about they want to be great and they want to be on a pedestal and they want to be successful, they want to be a celebrity, know what comes along with this. Everybody's going to praise you when you're winning. But I want you to watch the bandwagon, bandwagon haters that's going to come now that Deion has took his first loss. And he may be taking another loss next week also against USC. But the reality of it is, is this hill. He has taken a 1-11 in 11 team and has already tripled their victories already. He's 3-1 in a conference by far that has the best quarterback play in the country. And let me explain what Deion is doing. Dion is taking the hits early. And let me show you why he's taking the hits early. Because he see, he, he, he understands as an athlete how it's going to be wins, there's going to be losses. But you can't lose focus. And you got to make sure that you take the same path at all, at all times. He's no, he knows the backlash that's going to come behind it. But like he said, he said, he signed up for this. And I loved it. The reason why I said I loved it because that's how you got to be in life. When you want to be great, you got to understand, you're going to take great victories and you're going to take great losses. But that don't never stop your greatness. The haters are going to come out. They, let me tell you something. I can't wait till Monday morning when I get when I watch this video, when I watch all the videos that's going to be made about how he needs to be humbled and all this shit going on. That's cool. But let me explain what's going on here that people don't see. It's the fact that Dia understands that this is what's going to make him even greater. To show how he rebounds from defeat. Yeah, it's all good when, when you're winning, but the true character of a person is, is how you perform at a time of defeat, a time of inconvenience, in a time of being uncomfortable. But the Bible clearly says, you know, I got to bring that Bible in here. It's not given to the strong nor the swift, but those who endure to the end. Salute to you, Coach Prime. Congratulations to the Oregon Ducks. Hey man, this story's still being going. You know what it is. This is my video for the day. Like, comment, subscribe to the vibe. And I got three things before I go. God loves you. I love you. And we keep loving each other. The world's gonna be a better place. One love. You.